All right, so let's talk about size again. I get this question so much, so I thought I'd line three of them up and show you the differences. First one here is just a standard frame. As you build from the plans, if you follow it line for line, you're gonna get this cart. Um, if you put a stretch on it, the middle one has a three inch stretch on it, and then there's the XL. We'll go over all of the size differences between all of them, okay? So I am 5'11", 5'11 and a half in that range, uh, 180 pounds. And this one fits me really well, but this is a race regulation car. It was built to the measurements of a specified technical regulation book. That's why it has this size to it. It's why it's small. It's why it's the height, length, width, track width, wheelbase, all that stuff. So. Here's how I fit in it. To me, this is extremely, extremely comfortable. It's tight. It feels like a race car. I have tons of view. Um, the eyebrow is just for the sun. It's removable. I have a windshield doors, but I keep them off because I like the open cockpit stuff. Um, my knees, I've got tons, tons of room. Now, I don't want my, my legs to be straight because if I get in a crash, it's just gonna break my knees. So you want a little bit of bend and I've got a good heel placement for my pedals. I've got plenty of clearance from the steering wheel, but my vision is still great. I like this one so much. Uh, the wheelbase on this is around 80 inches if I remember right. It handles well, it, it's, it's good. There's a reason that the rule book has this dimensions for stuff, but not all of you are shaped like me. So this is a VF1 standard, but it has a three inch stretch on it. Now I did a three inch stretch on the budget cart because I wanted to show you guys how to do it. So if you want to know how to stretch them, check out the budget build series and I'll walk you through all the steps to it. And it's also in the plans, what tubes you need to extend and where. What does stretching at three inches do? It gives you more leg room and more head room, and I'll show you how. So by stretching it, you automatically get three inches more leg room. So I have a 32 inch inseam. So if you have a 35 inch inseam, you're gonna fit in this one like I fit in the number five. But if you just want more headroom, you're a taller torso guy. Stretching it three inches lets you lean the, the seat back a little more, which gives you more headroom. That's how it works. That's how Indy cars are so short. Those dudes are sitting like this in their cars just to, to get all that out of the air. The three inch stretch handles well. There's plenty of room for components. Um, I personally like it. And I think I'm gonna build all of them with a three inch stretch from now on. Now, if you're thinking like, oh, stretch it makes more room for everything. If you stretch it more than three inches, you're gonna start negatively affecting your wheelbase. For the track width of these, that wheelbase works out really well for handling, for jumping, for drifting. Once you start to get too long, when you start drifting with an engine in the back, the back end's gonna wanna overtake the front. So there's, there's balance, all right? Now there's guys that have stretched them six inches and they're pretty happy with it. Me personally, I would not go above a six inch stretch. Three inches to me seems pretty perfect. But it's all up to you. All of this is up to you. This is just the blank canvas for your imagination, all right? This is your jumping off point to get you started about where you wanna be. Variable frame chassis, right? So now if you're uh, a taller gentleman, uh, more of an athletic figure or uh, a little more shapely than me, I designed you guys a VF1 XL. This doesn't have to just be for the bigger guys than me. This can be for guys my size that just want more room. Now what I did with the XL was I blew out all the driver dimensions six inches. That means there's six inches more width there's six inches more headroom and there's six inches more legroom, but it only extended the wheelbase about four inches. 
So it was a complete redesign. I didn't just lengthen a few tubes to make this happen. So you can see there's so much more room. Like I said, I'm 5'11", and I got my bricks sitting flush with these. So you can have your seat sitting higher to get where you want to be. You can have cup holders in here. You can put a full stereo in here. It's just a big frame for bigger people or the guys that want uh, more room. And this is definitely gonna carry a presence. And it doesn't weigh much more. So the VF1 XL still has the same architecture as the VF1s and the VF2 for that matter. So all the same components that you would use on the other ones can be used on this. My personal plan for this one is a 500cc two-stroke engine, gas and brake with big mud tires because big frame, big tires, two-stroke action. It's going to work out pretty well, I think, for all of us. So I get questions all the time, which frame should I choose? Which one should I build? Uh, this is my height and weight. I can't decide that for you because I don't want to be wrong. <laughs> I'm sure you can understand that. Uh, a, a good gauge is if you're over, I don't know, 6'3", uh, maybe consider doing an XL. Um, you could stretch this and get all the room you need. I've had some pretty tall and big dudes in the three inch stretch and they weren't too unhappy driving it. Um, they may be happier in an XL, but it all depends if you want the race feel or if you want the trail machine feel, if that makes sense to you. I'll tell you that they all go together very easily, uh, as I showed you in the last video. In my opinion, the three inch stretch is the perfect all around car for anybody, anybody at all. Um, in what I've seen. If you're putting a bigger motor in it or you have a bigger transmission or a complex snowmobile CVT system, uh, definitely do the stretch. It's too easy, it gives you a little extra room uh, for components and whatnot. And speaking of engines, they all take all kinds of engines. I get that question a lot too. Uh, can I put a thousand cc engine in it? Yes. Can I put a two stroke in it? Yes. Uh, what's the minimum power I need? I don't know. I put a Predator 459 in it and it's be quickly becoming everybody's favorite machine. Not because it's fast, it's because it's not slow. <laughs> you get in a Predator powered cart and you expect it to be slow. You expect it to be a go-kart, but it's not a go-kart. It's still every bit a cross cart. It still carries a ton of speed. You can still drive it like a crazy. Somebody asked me about a Chinese 200cc engine that has gears on it. Well, the saying is there's no replacement for displacement, but gears can be a replacement for displacement. If you have a 20 horsepower uh, CVT driven system, you're at the mercy of those belts and that CVT system. Whereas if you have a 200cc six speed gearbox, that could equal out to a 400cc, 450cc air-cooled engine. All that's up to you. Do your own research for what engines you should use. And there have been so many of these built with so many different engines. You could get in the Facebook group, if you're a plan holder, and ask the guys about their engines. There's guys that's put R1 engines in them. There's guys that's put ZX-11, ZX-1400, Hayabusa, snowmobile, snowmobile engines, uh, Predator 420s, Duramax 440s, uh, SV-650s, like there have been so many engines used. So if you have an engine on your list that you're curious about, you could literally ask somebody that used that engine their experience with it. It's so cool. I love all this that's going on. I love all the builders. I love all the questions. I love talking about this stuff. So let's keep this momentum going. Let's see more builds. Uh, I'm excited actually for someone to do a V-twin build. <laughs> There've been a lot of guys asking about it and I always tell them, yes, yes, it'll fit a V-twin. Absolutely fit a V-twin. Uh, all right, so there is your size overview for all of the VF carts, minus the two-seater. Uh, two-seater is between the VF1 and the VF1 XL. 
it's not a full six inches of extra room, but it's a lot of extra room. So I did not make multiple sizes of that. And the VF2 can be stretched as well for the same reasons as the VF1. They're all comfortable, they're all fun, they're all fun to build. So, I love seeing all the pictures, all the videos you guys are sending of your builds. Keep it up, man, it's so cool. You guys are inspiring other people to build. I, I love how that works out. Like I started doing this as a hobby, I shared it with you guys, you guys were inspired to build them. And then you guys are inspiring other people to build them too, which leads to everybody building them. And all of us are gonna get together and play very soon very soon we've already had an event that had multiple cross carts and i'm hoping to see a lot more of that so until next time enjoy the build